name is Gerardo Franco. I'm a mechanical engineer at Raytheon, and I'm also the president of the SHIP South Bay LA professional chapter. When I was at the community college, I got started in science because I really loved astronomy. Then I became a math tutor, and I started to get pretty good at math, and then I found engineering. And engineering um, came late in my life because you know I didn't have a whole lot of education so I discovered engineering pretty late in my life. I was really not sure what I wanted to study out of high school, but I knew that math would help me get to wherever I wanted to be. So I focused on doing well in math. And as I was involved in these math and science classes, I learned of different majors from the students in my environment. I didn't really know what engineering was until way later after I graduated high school. And so, I asked around, came across engineering, and found that mechanical engineering was a really good fit for my interests. And so I chose to major in engineering without having a whole lot of support from maybe my family or friends who, um, a lot of which weren't probably going to school or hadn't gone to a college or a university. So I discovered engineering and just went full, full on, took all the right classes I needed, got involved outside the classroom. I joined student clubs. I did research on campus and at a different school just to kind of build my portfolio of who I am and build that comfort within STEM. Then I transferred, got my first internship, and things worked out just fine after that. And now I'm a mechanical engineer at a major aerospace company. So it doesn't matter where you get started, what matters is your goal and where you're going. So always remember that when things aren't going so well. One thing I want to kind of bring forward is getting involved in student orgs such as SHIP, the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. I'm involved in the SHIP South Bay Los Angeles professional chapter, but at every major university there's a student chapter. And getting involved in these kind of organizations will help improve your soft skills, your leadership skills, how you interview, how you go about career fairs, and a lot of good things that will help you in your career down the road. So get involved, go to their workshops, talk to their speakers. There's professional organizations all across campus, such as SHIP, ASCE, ASME, I, um, AIAA, all those really good organizations. Get involved and Stay involved once you graduate and you'll be so happy that you got involved when you were a student. What I would advise is to get involved outside the classroom. You want to get involved in student clubs, volunteer experiences, research, anything that will help build your resume and your portfolio of who you are. Because classes and grades only get you so far. When you're going to go out and start looking for a job, you want to kind of bring other things to the table and just having a good GPA. So get involved. Um, another thing is the community college is a training ground. So as you get involved here, you'll be able to transfer those skills to the four year university and get involved there. So if you build a habit of getting good at looking for resources, you'll repeat that at the four year and you can even repeat that for grad school. Some skills you wanna learn early in your undergrad career are teamwork, being able to work with others because engineering is not an individual sport. Satellites aren't built on their own with one person. You want to learn how to work with other people and uh, get used to tailoring the support that you bring to the table to different personalities. So learning how to be a good team player is something you want to get good at early so that way you can be a leader and take a leadership position at the next level at the four year. So learn how to work with others. Everybody has a different personality. So you need to be able to tailor you know, who you are to them and be able to work together to make a product or work on a project or report or um, you know, anything that really involves a team. So practice working with other people the earlier you get good at it, the better for you down the road. Networking skills start today. They're so important 
networking never ends. You never stop growing your circle of people who you reach out to for support. So networking is something you're going to hear over and over again. Now you can practice with your peers when you're taking a new class, exchange contact info, make, make friends, get in touch for study groups. When the class is over, stay in touch with your instructor. Let them know what's going on in your life, what school you're going to transfer to. When you go to a career event, stay after to speak to, to the speaker, introduce yourself. When you go to a career center or a career fair, meet industry reps and connect with them. Connect with them on, by, by asking their business card on LinkedIn, however you want. All of those are examples of networking. So growing your, your uh, web of people who you know, staying in touch because down the road, someone who you met early in your undergrad may come into play when you're asking for a lead into a company, for someone to recommend you for a certain job. So that's why networking is really important and it's never too early to start. Stay in touch with the people you, who you work with today. Throughout my undergrad, there were plenty of times when I had the second to lowest or one of the lowest exam scores in my class. But that didn't stop me from working hard to bounce back. So whenever you come across an exam and you don't do so well, don't just run in the corner and hide. Work on the problem, practice, study harder, get better, and prepare yourself for the next exam. So uh, I definitely had my moments of disappointment, but as long as you persevere and you move forward, things will turn out just fine. So the last few things I want to mention are you're a student for a small portion of your life. So enjoy it while you're in it, but also have a good time, explore options, try different internships at different companies, and taste test different lines of work. And um, you know, enjoy it. It's, it's a small, it's a short time, and it's gonna be over before you know it. So you want to have fun, meet people, do well, work hard, and try to you know, land different kinds of experiences, whether in clubs, research, or companies. Um, build yourself, take on leadership positions, learn how to organize, manage, lead. Do that as a student so that way when you're gonna graduate and you're looking for a job or you're trying to get that promotion, you can leverage those soft skills in, uh, in your career. So have fun. Um, engineering is not going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So you're going to make a lot of sacrifices right now at the community college level. You're going to make a ton of sacrifices when you go to the four year, but when you graduate, you're going to be very proud that you were able to complete an engineering degree. It's not easy, but it's going to be well worth it down the road.